Okay. Ugly. How was that? Well, Find I'm Marco, yourself. and you're Dave. What's up? You just drink without telling anybody, and that's Adam also j- opening his beer. Hey. And this is the one beer in podcast. Yeah. Yeah. Jam. All right. Uh, Because these are cans. Yay. Yay. No, you missed it. No, fuck you. Yeah, yeah. Mm, Drink too fast. Oh, well. I'll be all right. Mm-mm. I like red ales. Yeah. It's pretty good. <clears throat> uh, this is from the Persimmon Hollow Brewing Company from DeLand. So, oh, local. I, I Florida? Local. Yeah. The Paddle Wheeler Red Ale. But it says it's from Georgia Avenue. This says DeLand, Florida. He's, he's joking. What did he say? Oh, it's from Georgia. Ah, uh, I see that. The actual address. Yeah. I didn't see that part. Yeah. Six <clears> percent <throat> ABV. Yeah. And a five point or fifty five point six on the bitterness rating. I didn't know there was a bitterness rating. What Should do you mean? That thing. Right you didn't there? know IBUs. I guess not. Ooh. Oh, man. So if you'd like to join the podcast, <laughs> we have an opening. If you're a professional craft beer drinker, let us know. Is that who you want, though? That kind of, That's the kind of caliber of person you want here? Yes. <laughs> Smells like like wet garden hose. Mm. Mm. If you've got a charming personality and drink craft beer, let us know. Okay. I'm really surprised, Marco. You should know all about bitterness. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you got nothing. I got nothing. <laughs> I can't think of anything right Ooh, now. We shouldn't call them IBUs. You should call them dupas. <laughs> mm. Anyway, right? What the fuck is going on? Not much. Yeah, get off with me, and let's get on to some <laughs> shit that happened throughout the week. Big story. I like the roasting. The roasting's good. Yeah. The biggest story. The Hulkster. Mm, he got his. That's the biggest. I don't know. Story. If it's the biggest, story. It's the biggest <laughs> story to me. Nah, I don't really give a shit about Hulk Hogan anymore. It's probably the most recent story. That definitely like, literally most just happened. Yeah. So Hulk Hogan was suing Gawker for uh, releasing a sex tape. Uh, of him having it on, ha- having it on with a uh, Bubba the Love Sponge's ex-wife. It's so weird, isn't Such it? Such a strange pop so, culture celebrity thing. white trash. Yeah. is what's going oh, on. Definitely, Man. definitely. This is this is a weird, weird story. Yeah, and so he sues Gawker uh, for invasion of his privacy, uh, his privacy, because that comes out, mm-hmm. um, and this also led to the tapes. Of of the stuff that he was talking about right. with his uh, with his daughter dating uh, black dudes, um, that shit wouldn't have come out if this video hadn't come out. Right. So, so really, his career was basically ruined yeah. due to this tape coming out. And, I thought and his career was ruined already nah, nah. via his wife. That stupid mustache he has. Mm. What? His endless collection of bandanas. All Tr- of those things are keeping his career alive. Were they were? Not anymore. Tread lightly. You think he's just gonna shave it now? now no, 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 no. If if you saw the pictures from him in that court case, <laughs> Mark was just saying he wore his NWO outfit yeah. basically. It was he, just he, all black. He yeah, wore his black bandana. Yeah, black bandana. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, it's incredible. He looked like a bouncer. Which is a, like an interesting. <laughs> yeah. It's an interesting point that we were we were talking about before because in the '80s he was already balding, and he didn't wear a bandana back then. Yeah. Like we know he's bald. Like we understand. I don't understand why he tries to hide it right. still. Like it's okay, dude. Like we get it. Go bald. Yeah, just look. You're old. Yeah. That's why he still has the same mustache. Take the banana. Look, the he, mustache is one thing. You can yeah. die with the mustache. Tom Selleck has been rocking the mustache for like four decades. That's you, different though. Why? Because it's Tom Selleck in like a timeless, not silly mustache. Hulk Hogan's mustache Listen, is timeless. A dude. lot of guys have a Tom Selleck mustache. Nobody has a Hulk Hogan mustache. Okay, but all right, but that I, I could you have could, one. Yeah. <laughs> and you no, could, you'll never have one, Adam. <laughs> you could you could say that is a good reason to keep the mustache because it's so iconic. Nobody else had it, has it. So yeah, but I mean, you gotta you gotta evolve with the times, Mark. Living in a in a in a in the eighties. Come on, man, he's Mark. A, he's a professional wrestler. 
Not anymore. They, they, mm. yeah, right. Oof. Anyway, it hurts. To speak to your point about how you know the tape coming out was probably the death blow to his career. Um, he got paid sixty million of the one fifteen is for what they call the economic damages. Yeah, basically the money that he would have been able to earn if it if this didn't come out. If they didn't find right. out he was a raging racist. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And then the other was like personal, I guess. Yeah, and I'm whatever. sure some of it's for court fees and, and blah, 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 yeah. blah, 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 blah. I mean, invasion of privacy or that's whatever. Per- that's Probably. the end. Of, that's that has to be the end of Gawker. I mean, the larger point. The larger point. You here, think so? Yeah. Definitely. You think that's all Gawker has? I don't think so. I, I think they're going to be around. I don't think. I don't think it's just the money. I think it's what I was about to say is the 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 uh, oh, man. I can't remember the word. What is but, Gawker? Some fucking bullshit uh, gossip, um, site. gossip site. Yeah. It's uh, sort of like a TMZ. National Enquirer type deal. Tabloids. Yeah. Yeah. Sort of, yeah. Exactly. An online exactly. tabloid in a way. Um, and, and what this does for that business, I think, has far more yeah. reaching consequences than just Hulk Hogan. Well, people aren't going to trust them anymore. Well, not just that. Why but wouldn't they trust them? They, listen. They broke a story. But And then they got sued, though. In the way that they broke the story... Uh, changes the way like this this case could change the way that celebrity news and gossip is done basically because if a, if if Hulk Hogan can go to the courts and say they inv- they invaded my privacy and then the court says yeah you're right I mean imagine all the people imagine all the celebrities who get like like their 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 nude pictures leaked or um, you know, oh which they found the guy that did the uh, the right, fappening right yeah. so. But but see what I'm saying is like Did they sent him to life of awesome high fives. <laughs> God no. It, it it changes it sets a precedent now and that's what Gawker was trying to say like if you if the courts let this happen if they let like we're like they call themselves doing a public service quote unquote like we like people need to know that Hulk Hogan was having sex with somebody oh, else's their, wife. That's their whole thing though. Right. Yeah. The news they sell is news they want you to think you need. Exactly. Really, the court's probably like, "Ill bro." Why did you release this? That's gross. <laughs> Stop. Yeah, <laughs> Stop doing this. Um, but yeah. you see what I'm saying? Yeah. Like what what it what it could do to celebrity gossip and celebrity news? Like how it can alter the way that that is dispersed to people, or even how it's uh, received or how it's gotten in the first place? Well, yeah. Like CD newspapers are have been around for hundreds of years. Mm-hmm. You know that that sort of character is I don't think ever going to leave that industry it just it again reinforces the stereotype and I guess the truth behind the people that are in control of these things because they had that guy on the stand for Gawker I don't know who he was maybe the founder or uh, you know an editor or some sort Um, and the stuff that they got him saying like apparently they had him recorded on Mm -hmm. tapes as well ironically and it, it, they asked him basically. I think he was being interviewed by another reporter, and yeah. the reporter was like, "Well, what's the line? Like, where do you cut the line on sex tapes? Like, would you leak anybody's sex tape?" And he's like, "Yeah, anybody over the age of like five. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah, yep. And then they played that in front of a courtroom, Ugh. and one hundred and fifteen million dollars later, yeah." You uh, see what happened. I should not have said that. <laughs> oh, but, stupid, stupid, but, stupid. But that, but that's what I'm saying. Like, uh, where where is the line drawn? Like this, if if now celebrities, because before celebrities, something would happen. A celebrity go to the courts and say, you know, they can't do this, and the court would uphold it and say, no, that's their First Amendment right. Right. You put this out to the public, and now it's just it's it's, it's public consumption. Right. <laughs> if. Celebrities now are able to go to the courts and say they invaded my privacy, and the courts agree, and they award all this money to celebrities mm-hmm. like um, Aaron Andrews mm-hmm. uh, with her yeah. thing. Yeah, exactly. Um, did you hear one. about this? Aaron Andrews is a, a commentator for ESPN, does a bunch of like NFL stuff. Anyway, she was in her hotel room, she was naked, and some dude recorded her th- recorded her through like the keyhole the, or the like peephole. the peephole. Right, he actually the peephole. He, he listened for when she went to the shower. He went. He was apparently like in the room next to her which he requested because they told him at the front desk oh. so he's ba- he basically said hey I'm, I'm working with uh, Ms. Andrews uh, <laughs> can you tell me which room she's in and the idiots go sure wow. sure pal wow. um, 
So, got it. Uh-huh. waited to hear for her shower to turn on. S- like, used a drill to drill through her peephole. Wow. Replace the peephole with, like, a larger, you know, more visible peephole that you can actually look through. Uh-huh. And put, like, a camera in there so that it would, like, shoot into her room as Jesus. she's walking around naked. Like, he planned this shit out. Yeah, that is some expert sleaziness, man. It's incredible. That's, like, pro-level scumbag type Ugh. shit. That's crazy. Dang. So, anyway. (laughs) What What the fuck was she doing? Was she just dancing around? I don't know, man. The, The point is... Tell us the point. The point is... Honestly, with celebrities... Privacy is a tricky subject mm-hmm. because there's the whole thing of you being a public entity, and that changes things a little bit from regular folks like you and me. Right. Um, but at the same time, if they're in their own house, they have rights. Mm-hmm. So I, I think the way that these people sleep at night that get these sex tapes, and you know, like the guy that you know filmed uh, Aaron Andrews, is. They look at it as you shouldn't have been doing that, and I just would happen to be there to catch it. Yeah, you know, same thing with the the fappening leaks. Like you shouldn't have put uh, naked pictures on your cloud. Yeah, it's stupid. You don't do that. But at the same time, you're gross for right. for hacking those phones and doing that to people. Yeah. Like they're still human beings. I mean, who are you to say? I mean, I mean that's I have a really strong opinion on people saying anything about the way somebody else is living and like you just like they deserve to be punished for something that they that a consenting adult does behind closed doors like you think Mm -hmm. you should be the one to punish them in a weird way this comes back to the conversation we had about um uh them leaking the information from the the cheating website yeah 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 it's kind of the same ethical grounds it's like where where do you get off saying that these people deserve anything like you're on that higher level but then at the same time it's like i mean they are doing some some seedy gross shit but then again it's like it's not our fucking business Mm -hmm. yeah so you still have rights as a damn human being yeah you know i mean even if you're a celebrity yeah just because just because they're they've made themselves for public consumption i mean i guess i guess that's really the point they they've made themselves these entities that we we need to know every waking moment of their lives now yeah and I guess, the, I mean, I don't know. Is that up to the courts to decide where we draw that line? Who I, knows? Yeah, I don't know. I do know that $115 million is not going to bring his career back. No. What you going to do, brother? It's. I mean, it's a good retirement. Yeah. I suppose. Yeah, that'd be good. He's set up now. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck him. Anyway. Yeah. Um. So, I recently went to Red Light, Red Light. And I'm going to do a little plug right now because Ooh. I also wrote. Are we getting paid for it? No. I wrote a blog, though. I guess he get paid for it. Yeah, I got paid for it. I wrote a blog on Red Light, Red Light uh, for my job. Uh, you can look it up on findsomewithmore.com. Dude, say it what way are you, slower. Are you paying us? <laughs> you going to pay us, Adam? Uh, Give us some money. This is Squarespace. Um, <laughs> yeah, you wish. So I wrote this blog, and I did it with Bon, who let me in on this special thing they have, which is the Red Light, Red Light Citizen Program. I had no idea about it. By the way, if you guys aren't familiar, Red Light, Red Light is a pretty, at least locally famous beer bar uh, in the Winter Park area, uh, technically Orlando. But they have this really cool program that I'd like to see enacted in other places because it lets you try beers that you haven't tried before. So what they do is they give you a passport that has a list of beers. There are three passports. It ends up being up to 100 beers at the very end of it. You'll have had 100 different beers. So instead of going there and just kind of looking at the list of hundreds of beers that they have and not knowing where to go, if you're brand new to craft beers, it's a perfect plan for you because you go, get me this one, number two on the list. And it gets you to try stuff that you wouldn't normally. Yeah. So you put your review down, kind of like we do, uh, except they do it out of five. And then you put your... The the six bottle cap is 
patent pending on them. I know, of mm-hmm. course, of course. <laughs> uh, they they can't do property that. of the one beer and podcast. Mm-hmm. They can't have that LLC, right? Yes, thank you, Mark. So they have that review, and you have to look up the review of the beer on ratebeer.com. So you see how you stack up against the world, basically. Mm. But I think it's a really cool thing that maybe we should start doing with our stuff. Is you're kind of like part of the, like the Metacritic thing. Yeah, exactly. Like putting your 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 number in there. That's pretty cool. Yeah. So I just want to. How much does this program cost, Adam? It's ten dollars. I'm out. <laughs> it's ten dollars and it includes your first beer. Ten dollars too many. So just my first beer. Yeah. So. That's a lot for one beer. Mm. I think ten bucks is a lot for one beer. Yeah. Where you get the, what's this passport look like? Is it leather bound? Is my you photo get your in, it? in it? I think the last one's leather bound. Mm. Yeah. Mm. The exotic. first one looks like a exotic item. Exactly. <laughs> the first one looks like a regular passport. But. By the way, that kind of pricing for like one beer it reminds me. We went to um, Insomnia Cookies. Mm-hmm. Cookies are bomb. There's some in there, by the way. If are, you guys want some? Are we getting paid for this? We're not getting paid. Are we getting fucking paid for this episode? <laughs> Hold on. Brought to you by Red Light, Red Light, and Insomnia, Insomnia cookies. cookies. They try the cookies. They're bomb, dude. They have they have the milk in there that's like, I don't know, maybe like a less than a quart. I don't know how they the size. Anyway, mm-hmm. the shit is three dollars. That's how much you would spend on a gallon of milk. Yeah, that's fucking insane. Yeah, but. You gonna buy a whole gallon of milk for those cookies? Or you I buy would. It? I'd rather that. What I'm. You're paying for the convenience, man. Yep. That really? Yeah. So that's like two dollars fifty cent convenience fee, yeah. basically. Yeah. If you want cookies in the middle of the night, yeah, buy the cookies. And if you want, you can make another stop at the grocery store and pick up a gallon of milk. I, yeah, I'd rather do that. That's nope. that. That should be illegal to charge that kind of money. Hey, three dollars. Nobody's forcing you to buy it, Mark. It's capitalism, son. <sighs> Uh, that's not capitalism. <laughs> Goddamn right I guess it is. It's supply and demand. Yeah. Whatever. If, if nobody ever bought that milk, they wouldn't sell it anymore. You're right. And they wouldn't be able to sell it for that price either. Yeah. Prices would go down or they'd stop selling it all together. Mm-hmm. So somebody's buying that expensive ass Seller's milk. market for that milk. Yeah. Anyway. So that sounds like a good program. The only problem is uh, we don't we don't frequent red light, red light enough, I think, to make it. I mean, is it worth it? To do it if we don't go as much as yeah. What's the time frame on these passports? Forever. You can come in whenever you want, and you can have as many of the beers on that list as you want. You can go through you know your entire night. These bottled beers? Uh, yeah, yeah, they're bottled oh, that's beers. That's why they're forever. Yeah. It's not on what's that? What's on tap? No, no, no. It's, it's so it could beers. be you know towards the end, the price of your beer is that nobody buys. I don't think they do that. You don't think so? No. I kind of flipped through it. I didn't want to look through every single one so that I had some surprises along the way. But I, it looked like regular beers. What a hipster. Yeah. <laughs> didn't even want to know the beers before he knew himself. <laughs> yeah, no. I mean, that's, this is a really obscure beer. I've never even heard of it. It's know. part of the fun. Honestly, I had two beers that I would have never have picked out for those two first beers. So, so 10 bucks for the first beer and then how much... Do you pay for each beer afterwards? Just pay the normal price for the beers. So basically, the passport is just like a guide. Yeah. For what? Okay. Okay. Yeah. It's like it. I think. So can I just look off your passport? If you really want to. Done. All right. Yeah. Done. You guys are the worst. I'll get, yeah. I'll get my own stamps. <laughs> Save the money. Thanks. I'm sorry I even brought this up. Thanks. Anyway, <laughs> most normal people out there, if you go to Red Light, Red Light, check it out. I recommend it. Mm-hmm. We'll uh, we'll have the PDF version of Adam's passport up on uh, on the website. Mm-hmm. Check the Instagram page. We'll post one each week. <laughs> Make sure you like the picture so you know which ones you've had. Mm-hmm. Link in bio. <laughs> Put it on a torrent. <laughs> Seed the torrent. You wouldn't download a beer. <laughs> you guys are the fucking worst. <laughs> moving on. Have you yeah, got, moving right along. Have you guys heard about the PS4.5? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I like that. It's dismissive. <laughs> I'm over it. <laughs> have you guys, guys heard about it? And he's the one that posted it <laughs> in the chat. <laughs> Like somebody else take the reins because apparently whenever I drive this ship it goes nowhere. Uh, <coughs> man. Uh, so yeah, PlayStation Four point five. Yeah. I I don't I. I think it's necessary. You think it's necessary? I mean, I, I think it. Let's explain. Okay. Ooh, yeah. So, 
Uh, is it official? Official? Or nope. is it, it's just nope. been okay. So. It is not. It's uh, it's in the pipeline. And it's supposed to be Maybe a souped up version of the current PlayStation with more power to you know, run. You, you you posted that, and I read the title, and I thought, oh, they're just gonna put the VR box inside in the place. I thought that's it was gonna be physically a beefier <laughs> PlayStation. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right, right, right. Which, uh, by the way, that box that they're they're adding for the VR is apparently not like an enhancement for the system itself. Which doesn't make sense. Yeah, it's just a, I don't know, I part, a component of the VR. Sony has said themselves that their their VR headset is going to be substantially not as good mm-hmm. as the Oculus. Oculus or the or the Vive. Right. I mean, why why would they say that out loud? Because they they know they they're they probably don't even compare to it. Yeah, they're they're saying expectation, obviously. And I mean, when you're when you have a hardware that is half the price i think you have to set the expectation or else people are going to jump into this you're going to have this stream of people that come in unwittingly and then buy it and be like disappointed that low price if they don't say something like that i think could potentially ruin vr Mm. because you go in there thinking oh yeah look at this htc vive and the oculus oh the playstation has a headset that's half as much i already have a ps4 let me get that this hey Oh, this fucking sucks. VR sucks. <laughs> and yep. Everybody who has a PlayStation that bought it says VR sucks. Yep. Everybody yep. else that doesn't have trickle VR. down effect. Okay, yeah. I get it. Uh, yeah, and actually, that's in that context, it's pretty commendable that they did that yeah. to just set that expectation. So, PS four point five. Yes, uh, it's supposed to be able to run four K. Four K. That's the biggest thing because I mean, basically, I mean, if you look at any TV now, any TV that's being made now is. A 4K T, 4K TV. new standard. Yeah, yeah. That's, yeah that's basically they need that's to it. focus on running at 60 frames per second. You goddamn right, they do. Baby steps, right? Mm-hmm. Which at 1080, which constantly. is mm-hmm. what the standard is for PSVR. Right. They say they're not going to certify any games that aren't running at 60 frames. Uh, yeah. Again, another commendable thing, but I mean, another thing that PC beats them at as well because PC VR Mystery. minimum, sorry, uh, runs at 90 frames per second minimum. Mm-hmm. Mm. And obviously, especially with VR, that is very important. Yeah, yeah, that is uh, that is going to be a big deal. I mean, you don't want people vomiting every time they try to, like, just not being able to... Keep, right, like, and, and that's the issue with anything below 60, yeah. is that it's too choppy for... You're seeing things faster than it's rendering them, and it freaks your brain out. Yeah. So it now, leads to you being nauseous. Um, the big question is, since we're all uh, PlayStation players here, anybody going to get... The PS4.5. Uh, I have to see what they offer. And if they have sort of a... If there's like an enhancement add-on, I'd probably go for that. What do you mean? If they offer something that... Think of like with the N64, the power pack or whatever. Uh-huh. That you could get that you could just plug into it. The expansion pack? That's what it was. And it, it just works. I'd be down for that. I'm not going to buy an entirely new console though. Right. Okay, okay. I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. Yeah. yeah. Okay, that's that's what I thought. That's what I thought it was. Was an entirely new console. What? No, the the VR pack just plugs into the PlayStation. No, the the four point five. Four point five. Yeah. yeah, I think it is a new console. Yeah, yeah. not a new console, just an upgraded PlayStation Four. Right. Yeah, yeah. So instead of like the three hundred gigs, you get the five hundred gigs versus the terabyte or whatever. It's just right. another upgrade. Which but is it, also it wouldn't be a storage upgrade; it'd be a graphic upgrade. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, mean, I know. I'm just saying upgrade. as an example of of getting two of the same thing, but not really the same thing. Yeah, no. I mean, it's it hasn't been long enough for me to invest in that. Because if I have one that. now, you see what I'm saying? I'm gonna buy the same shit again. Same, same, but different. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I don't know. I just I don't think it's been long enough for me to be comfortable to put down money for another console. Yeah, no, fuck that. I'm not and on top of that, like. If I'm gonna buy PSVR, that's the cost of another PlayStation. So right. it's like I'm not gonna buy the cost of two PlayStations again, right? To enjoy this, but it it I don't know it 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 uh it starts to set up a new model of how they they do these things because like phones, for instance, they do this all the time. It's like the fucking iPhone. It's the same mm-hmm. thing over and over again. But PS4s, right? I mean, but that's kind of what if this if this becomes successful, that's what it could be instead of coming out with the PlayStation 5, just keep upgrading the current one with better graphics, more access to different peripherals and things like that. Mm-hmm. Well, that's sort of where Xbox wanted to go. They're thinking of doing like, yeah. modular upgrades to their shit. Yeah, that's probably what pushed PlayStation in that direction, too. Yeah, maybe. I don't, know, I think that, I don't think that's a good direction, though. You no, might I as well I just I get a PC. 
Right. If you yeah, from the get go, you can choose exactly thoughts. what you want. Right. Yeah. Right. I mean, but at the same time, it's like it it it's like where everything else is going. Like, um, I hate to swing it back around to Kanye West, but I'm going to. Uh, <laughs> you there would. Was, there was this very no. It's just it's an interesting point that somebody made. The album that he has out currently, The Life of Pablo, mm-hmm. is basically somebody. I think I think you posted what somebody had said that like yeah. it's the first album to receive a patch online patches and and it's true like he's constantly reworking the album and like putting out newer versions of it and and Mm -hmm. constantly upgrading it does that void it for any awards that's an excellent question how they do with video games but that's different i think yeah i think that's different i mean the the video game there's that that because you don't you don't think that you can judge it on you don't patch a, a level or a, a mechanic in a game, you you patch a bug, right? Yeah. With this, he's, he's changing songs, he's adding verses, mm-hmm. right? He's changing the thing. It's more, Just, yeah, it's it's more intrinsic to the piece itself. They're right. not changing, they're not patching a storyline or something. I was reading this in, this article about how it could be, you know, it could be the future of how people release music because first, it it, it could be killing the idea of the album itself. Because iTunes had, has already pretty much killed that with the fact that you just you just buy what song you want right. and then be be done with it. So why not take that next step and say, this album's going to be out for X amount of time and I'll be constantly updating it and evolving it. I don't know though. I'm maybe it's then the history of me, but I right right well, exactly. Like, do you just stick with title and just? Keep going back to Kanye West's page <laughs> to see keep what he's updated. Getting new credit cards to get that free trial. Yeah, <laughs> right. My, I can't uh, keep doing that. What, <coughs> one of my friends at work actually brought up a good point and said, "Do you think this has anything to do with the fact that it was about thirty? Uh, was it thirty days since he released the album? Yeah, that he updated it. Well, people are saying that, but he extended the free trial. The yeah. title extends the they extended the free trial so you could hear." The, the new update. version of it, yeah, but it's just I don't know. I I like the idea of albums. I like that an artist sets out and says, you know, this is the concept. This is what we're doing. This is this is how I'm feeling at the time. I don't like that. I don't like what I don't like what well, this means. Any for any music. creative person can work their piece to death, right? You know, like if you don't have that time crunch and that limitation. I, I guarantee most of the good media we have, most of the good pieces of art we have, wouldn't be as good as they are. Right, because you, know? you could just go, you keep going, like George Lucas, right. just going back and just reworking stuff, mm. taking stuff out, putting it back in. It's a good point. I mean, it's right. the person I thought of first too. I mean, it's it's a nightmare so if you're happened? able to have full control and unlimited time and right. budget to work on something. It, you just you end up suffocating your baby. All right, six months from now. Kanye takes off all of the good songs on the album because he's like, nah, I'm kind of tired of these now. Right. I want this to sound differently. And then it's like, well, what the fuck? It's no, it's it's not ours anymore. Right. Once they take <laughs> it back and change Kanye it. Kanye replaces all the lyrics with just his name. <laughs> Kanye, 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 Kanye. So, it, I don't, I don't know. I mean, that's just where all of these things are going. The internet moves too fast. People's attention spans are too short to have to sit for Which one thing. To have to sit for listen, listen look at me. Mm, listen don't to be me. so boring. No, listen to me. Look, look, Can look me in the eyes. Two it, humans. It's talking. all right. Everybody, stop listening to this podcast once I start talking about a red light, red light. Yeah, so. that's that's probably where it is. Who are we even talking to right now? Ralph. That's a, <laughs> it's a dog, folks. It's a dog. <coughs> What's that last thing on there? Uh, Let's just move right. Along. All right, all right. So. Uh, the game developer conference happened this oh, week, right. oh. uh, which is actually what led to a lot of the, these, you know, VR pricing because they, you know, they announced and priced the uh, PSVR finally and said that it's coming out in October. Right. All that news came out of uh, GDC, is what they call it. Now, getting real cool with their acronyms. Yeah, all of the main developers, all the main video gaming companies were out there, obviously doing their thing and you know showing what's coming around the uh, pipeline. And one of them, obviously, was Xbox. Now, early on in that conference, they actually had this panel uh, that was about you know women in gaming, and it was it was that sort of thing where it's obviously a, a, a male driven. <laughs> oh my god! Wow. <laughs> I'm sorry. Keep going. What happened? No, I'm just 
like what we're leading into and how that's that's awful. Just yeah. Oh, okay. Sorry, sorry. Are you yeah. Just, you you're seeing the train wreck now. Yeah. Yes, you guys exactly. you guys have have yeah. the foresight to right. to get this. So. <laughs> They have this conference that's you know women in gaming and you know it's, they're talking about basically it's a very male dominated uh, industry and obviously there needs to be more strong female voices in the industry to you know even out the playing field a bit and make games interesting. Um, later on that night, <laughs> they have another conference that involves mm, scantily clad go-go dancers. Wearing basically Britney Spears outfits, uh, uh, the short skirts, bras. Right. I think possibly the use of pigtails. Tell me more. And they started taking off their clothes real oh, slow. Yeah. What the fuck were they doing there? What was it? I don't understand. It looked <laughs> no. It looked like a a gaming conference circa like '96. <laughs> you know, like that's classic video game right. stuff right there. Um. I don't know what's wrong with this. What's wrong with it? Okay, and that's actually exactly what I'm going to ask you guys. Now, they it was basically like a, a celebration type deal. Like, you know, think of any other conference in which there are dancing chicks and, you know, techno music and flashing lights. And they're obviously trying to, like, amp up the glitz and glamour of it, sort right. of. I mean, I don't know what schoolgirls have to do with that, but... <laughs> It ended up being such a talking point, especially because they underlined it by talking about women in gaming, I feel. Yeah. Who's Kamina Vincent? Uh, I don't know. Those are the uh, the tweets that I'm reading. Okay, yeah. Uh, I think that that's, that's the person that started this thing, or at least is being pointed to it. Um, but Phil Spencer, the lead in gaming on Xbox, uh, actually had to come out and apologize for it. Yeah. And was like, that was, you know, off color. We're sorry about this. You know, we we've learned our bad. <laughs> and, no, it didn't. And triple uh, Xbox. It's the same for like, Yeah. Know. It's the same. I mean, it's, it, I mean, that's classic old school Xbox. I don't know if you guys remember, but like when the original Xbox came out, they're all about being extreme and <laughs> extreme. neon green. <laughs> and yeah. Mountain Dew. Exactly. No, exactly. Uh I mean, if it was just that then I, I guess it wouldn't be that bad. It's it's just a strange thing to have, like, go-go dancers at a video game conference. Just weird. Why? I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. I don't know. I just, I don't know. It's I just, changing. Like, the, the tide, I feel, is changing in these conferences where that, like, booth babes are no longer acceptable. They don't do that anymore. So when they do, it's kind of weird, yeah. you know? That's I just, unfortunate. I just, I just picture... Why, why? Why? It's objectifying women. If you want more women in this industry, you're going to need to... I don't know, not have these objectified idols of yeah. models and maybe if there was dudes, big old titties. If there was dudes too, if it was chicks and dudes, but dancing like, around. yeah, but, like would anybody thing, like, complain I, about the dudes? I don't think I don't think it works that way though. Dudes wouldn't complain about the dudes. I don't think chicks go. I love how we're saying chicks and dudes, but <laughs> I I don't think if there's a bunch of like shirtless like buff dudes walking around, it have the same effect with chicks in a weird way, like. I don't I, think Xbox that's what needs to do that next year. And yeah. see what, like and just be like, "What's up?" <laughs> it's Magic Mike What's Part up? Three, motherfucker. That would be ballsy. Magic Mike, yeah, it would. Triple X, yeah, yeah. Mm. Available only on Xbox. I mean, like he's saying, it, it, it's um. it was <laughs> <laughs> it it was underscored by the fact that they were talking about trying to get women in. Was Microsoft the, the one trying on? Was the conference itself. Microsoft was the one talking about them. Yeah, like yeah. trying to get women in. Yeah, yeah, they yeah. Do that. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, I mean, understand that's, that. Yeah, but that's just it's just not. It seems hypocritical. The timing obviously. of it is terrible. I don't think there's anything inherently wrong with. I mean, I mean, it's not like they like you know brought the women in on like a fucking you know one of those big uh, uh, conveyor stick. things and like you know prodded them and like forced them to do that These yeah, are yeah. professional dancers especially if they're go-go dancers they're right. professional dancers so it's it's nothing it's not worse like than strippers exactly right, exactly right. it's, it's, it's right. nothing worse than you see at like at a club right, right. you go you to know? a club yeah those chicks are dancing on the pole so and if whatnot, they're trying so. to make their yeah like it's nothing that you wouldn't see going out but yeah. okay but the problem is like I said and like he said the fact that they're trying to talk about women having more respect in the industry and then you have that it's just timed so terribly I don't yeah. think there's anything inherently wrong with it but 
just strategically, you know, just was bad. A bad call. Yeah, just a bad call. Yeah, there was. I don't think there was communication between those two uh, teams or something. Yeah, I mean, I mean, how do you sit through that first part of the conference and then go, "All right, bring them in, <laughs> ladies"? I would have loved if it just uh, it was immediately after. No, that's the best. <laughs> The, the female speakers just start undressing <laughs> to hit me baby one more time. <coughs> yeah. No, that's just that's just a bad call, but but I mean, I don't know, man. It's a it it's a step backwards for sure for like how they're supposed to be uh you know, portraying themselves right. as a progressive uh company trying to get more women into their company and into the industry itself. It's just it sucks because like the video game video game culture and the video game industry is so terrible toward I, it, women for yeah, the most it, part. Yeah, that's like, what I was going to ask you. Is, you drive you, a, 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 a small line. Isn't do, it? do you think that having booth babes and like doing this is bad for the industry? I don't think it's necessary. I mean, it, I yeah, it's know. not even necessary. I mean, I don't think it's bad. It doesn't... I don't see a booth babe and go, oh, I'll meet. <laughs> but at the same time, I could I'd be perfectly fine if there wasn't a booth babe there. Right, right. She you, has nothing to do with the game. You are dressed sort of similarly to the theme. Right, right. But right. that's about it. Like, what what is the point? You're at a video game conference where we're talking about the pricing of virtual reality, and we need go go dancers to right. help sell that point. I don't maybe really... it was uh, it was say goodbye to actual women. Because now you just see virtual women losers. Yeah, right. So this is gonna be the last <laughs> bit of ass you see. Yeah, damn good right. Look, high fives all around. Yeah. Not three D enough. Objectifying women. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, I guess yeah. that's where that lands. <laughs> I guess that's where that lands. So guys, I uh, I went to Red Light Red Light recently. Yeah. And. They got a really cool program out. This has been the One Beer and Podcast. <laughs> Joining us as always was Marco Dupa. Uh-huh. Sports with Dave. What's up? I think I'm going to get the Vive. All right. I'm Adam. Let's Obesius. talk about that next time. That's yeah. my cliffhanger. Right. All right. Nice. Next time on Dragon Ball Z. Goodbye, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> Just kidding. We have to review this beer. Oh, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Nice. He saw it fall and he was like, nope. Uh, Paddle Wheeler from the Persimmon Hollow Brewing Company. Out of Deland, Florida. Uh, red Ale. What'd you guys think? I actually really like this. A lot of Red Ales tend to have uh, a little bit of an aftertaste I'm not a big fan of. Yeah. This one was pretty sweet, though. Mm-hmm. I liked it. Yeah, there is there is a bit of a sweetness there that I enjoyed, too. Yeah, at first I didn't like it, and then I was like, yum. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm going to go with a four. And a four. And I'm going to keep it a four. Four and a half. I'll give it a four and a half. I'm going to give it a four. We've got 4.00713. Now it's been the One Beer Podcast. <laughs> yep. Thank you guys for listening. Have a good evening. Shrink delicious beer. Goodbye. Bye. Oh! <laughs> At least that loud. Where did you get it? 4.5? Yes. I don't know.